Pop the top, it's time for another video to drop and to today, bring guys some WWE 2K20 content and more specifically, talking about the WWE 2K20.1.02 patch or whatever the fuck it was called. If you can't tell by now, this isn't going to be a nice video. This isn't going to be a fucking sugarcoating video. Fuck this patch and quite honestly, fuck 2K20. Like that, that's pretty much what I can say at this point. I finished the My Career series, as you guys noticed yesterday, and I've been waiting for this patch to come out. I've been waiting for this patch to come out before I fully give any judgment towards W2K20 because W2K20 was released and in a god-awful state. And then we move forward to the patch, and after telling developers about the issues on Twitter, not only on Twitter, but also personally to their faces at an event, None of the things that were talked about were really fixed. None of the big things were fixed. Highlight Reel was not fixed. The Originals Handicap match that we were able to play in Vegas when we were flown out was not fixed. That frame rate issue still occurs. So anyone that is new getting the DLC, you yes, you will still run into that issue. Uh, the logo uploader was fixed today. Yes, you can download your logos now. However, you go in to create a superstar. You go to apply the logos to your superstar. You go into a match, and those logos move up 30 to 50 pixels vertically on the vertical plane. So it completely makes your logos useless. You can download every single logo you want to download. You can catch them all like it's a Pokemon card, but you can't put them to use. Now, creating arenas. Let's talk about creating arena. Creating arena while we were in Vegas playing the game, we noticed the creators that were playing the game noticed that the creating arena options, you could not play creating arena matches or it would crash the game. We were telling the developers this and they told us that, yes, they heard us and that that would be patched. And what happened? No, it did not. And it didn't get patched. No, it didn't get fixed. You create your arena, you change any type of placement with the Trons or anything like that so you can make an accurate current day Monday Night Raw or current day SmackDown Live arena and it moves all of the arena parts back. Not only that, you go to load into say a Hell in a Cell match or go put that current created show into universe mode and it crashes the game. Not only that, now whenever you upload a logo and you download a logo, it adds a white pixel to that. Not only that, but you go and put your face texture onto your call. Now the face texture defines your morph. Your morph does not define your face texture, which now means we're all going to be running around here looking like the damn Goonies. So that's, that's, that's fun. That's, that's fun. Not only that, but just fundamentally, this game has been completely broken since launch. And to me, it, it seems insulting that... We are still being asked $60 for this broken game. And if you got the collector's edition, that's what, $90 for this game? It, it does not make any sense to me while this is still on the PlayStation Store, the Xbox Store, or the Steam Store. And personally for me, you have seen me drop WWE 2K20 content since the game is released because this is my job. This is what I get paid to do. This is how I pay my bills. I upload WWE 2K gameplay to YouTube and I get paid by YouTube for my content. However... With WWE 2K20, I can't fully work to the best of my ability with this broken game. And I want 2K20 to be great. I want 2K20 to get patched and be the best it can be because there is good potential with this game. But in the current state of this game, with this patch that we just got that was supposed to help this game, please do not purchase WWE 2K20 if you have not already. This game is not meant to be purchased yet. This game is not in a working state. This game has many bugs, has many crashes, has many flaws. And until it gets patched, I can't recommend in good faith to anyone to purchase this game. This patch has extremely disappointed me. This patch has extremely angered me. It has very much so annoyed me on a personal level that a lot of creators have told the developers in person about several issues at that event weeks ago, and these issues were just not fixed at all. It's a different feeling when you talk on Twitter and you at an account and you tell them, hey, this needs to be fixed, this needs to be fixed, this needs to be fixed. It's a whole nother feeling when you're there in person talking to different developers for the game, and then none of that is heard. None of that is listened to. None of that is taken into consideration to fix the game. Issues with different things, and I'm not going to say any creators' names that brought up any of these points either because I don't want to throw anybody else under the bus because I already know this video is probably going to do just that for me. But whenever we bring this up in person, 
bring up many different things in person. And then it is joked about all day long that, oh, a patch is about to come out and a patch is going to fix this and a patch is going to fix that. And then it doesn't with the first one that comes out. Ask yourself how you would feel in a situation like that to directly be lied to to your face. And I'm mad for multiple reasons now. As most of you know that follow me on Twitter, I have a child, I have a son. He's about to turn four years old. He loves playing wrestling video games. And many other people have children. And I remember back in the day when I was growing up, I could only afford one game a year. And you know what game I would purchase every year? It'd be a WWE game. And I can in good faith want my past self or little Timmy, for instance, to purchase a new game with WWE 2K20 on the title because it is in a broken heap of dog shit, honestly. Do I want to be here talking about this game in a negative light? No. Do I want to be here burying this game? No. I wish this game was the best thing in the fucking world. I wish this game was WWE 2K19.5. But it's not even that. Somehow, someway, we moved backwards. Somehow, someway, we moved fucking all the way back to a broken heap of a mess. This game is worse than WWE 2K15. 15 was released in a boring state. There was no good modes to play that would last your attention. But at least fundamentally, that game was not broken. This game is fundamentally broken to its goddamn core. And a patch can read that we listening and we fixing. But when it's not doing a damn thing, can you truly ever believe what they're going to say? No, you cannot. So please, for the love of God, if you have not purchased this game, do not purchase this game. Do not buy WWE 2K20 until it is fixed. And the fucking big parentheses right there is if it is fixed. If. It is fixed because we just got the first patch and sure some lighting issues were fixed. Sure. Maybe the resiliency bar now pops up and tells you to hold R2 and hit triangle. And that was fixed. But guess what? The creation suite. That's not fixed. Putting logos on your car. That ain't fixed. It'll move them up 30 fucking pixels, 50 pixels. Fixing the created shows so we can have what we see on current Monday nights and Friday nights can't happen. I don't understand how this game is in the state that it's in. But you know what? I get it. Because if they release a statement, they'll say, hey, guess what, guys? We've had a hard year. We've had a great time trying to rebuild this game because Yuke's left. They'll try to scapegoat Ukes, but at the end of the day, when you're a AAA fucking game company, how do you release a game in this condition? How do you release a game in this state and want people to buy it? I don't understand. I don't get it. And I'm fucking tired of playing this game. So guess what? If you see me go back and play 2K19 on this channel, that might be what has to happen. Because I can't play 2K20 anymore. It is making me fucking sick playing this fucking game. I don't like it. I can't recommend it. I don't want to play it anymore because I don't want to give anybody, any young viewer, the wrong impression that this game is worth the money. I don't care anymore about 2K20. I really don't. I'll be here when the next patch comes out and I'll cross my fingers and I'll fucking pray to God that this game gets fixed. But until the game gets put in a reasonable state, please, for the love of God, do not buy this game. Guys, I wish it wasn't like this. I really don't. And I'm grateful for the opportunity that 2K Games gave me. And they flew me out to Las Vegas. And I got to play this game early. But you know what? I'll be honest. I'll really be honest right now, man. If they flew me out for no reason, if they flew me out to hear my words about this game and how bad that it was in that state, and then not take those words and try to put it towards making the game better, there is no fucking point. There's no point. Is it a great experience getting flown out, talking with every single other creator in this wonderful community? Because we have a great community filled with great people. Guys like Dank Ops, guys like Pulse, guys like Johnny from New Legacy, guys like Murphs, guys like Tangent from Twitch. Great people all around. This community, this community is a tight-knit bond. And we have to play this dog shit of a game this year. Please. 
pull WWE 2K20 or fix WWE 2K20. Those are the only two options right now. Because in the current state that this fucking game is in, do not buy it. Do not rent it. Do not put any money towards it. If you can get it for free, smack that bitch on the ground because it ain't worth the fucking trouble. Guys, I wish, I wish I could fucking make content more on this game because I'm enjoying my GM mode series. I'm enjoying the universe mode series. But until this game gets fixed, I don't want to give anyone the wrong impression that this game is good, that this game is worth it because it's not. So with that being said, guys, I appreciate everyone that tuned into this video. If you are new and if you are subscribing, please hit that bell so you know the next time I upload. Leave a like on the video as well. Share it around, please. Hashtag pull WWE 2K20 or hashtag fix WWE 2K20 because they damn sure have not fixed WWE 2K20. And they can say until the cows come home that they're going to fix WWE 2K20 with more patches. But until those words are actually put to service and put to use and we actually see change on this fucking game, don't buy it. Fuck WWE 2K20. That's that. Take it easy though, guys. Peace.